What is up, survivors? For today's 101, we're going to be talking about running electricity wires. This is a pretty simple concept as far as how it works once we get the basics uh, wrapped up here. So, to be able to make electrical cables and the generator and such, you will need a fabricator. The fabricator will be unlocked at level 48, and it does require gasoline to run, so definitely pay attention to that. But once you actually have access to this, there'll be two. Um, See this side here where you just have this electrical this flexible electrical cable then also in your structures um the electric you'll have like your lights and things that use it and then in the electrical you'll actually have all the different cables along with the elevators deterrents and uh, windmills and such definitely pay attention to all those different places to make the different cables as they all do serve a purpose so basically what happens is it all has to get tied together just like a normal electrical circuit right so you place your generator down and then you can start clamping wires uh, and snapping wires. And if you're not sure what I mean by snapping, definitely check our building basics down. But basically, it'll kind of auto connect to it. You see how it's kind of just doing that? And that means that the wire's connected to that. So from there, you can connect the daisy chain, the wires off of each other. As long as they all eventually do connect to this generator, when you turn them on, it'll provide power. Now, at the end of those places, let's say where I want to put a light, I need to put one of these electrical junction boxes here. Think of it kind of like a wall outlet in your house, kind of, sort of. It's kind of how it works. But when you place these guys down, the wire connects straight to it. Pretty simple, right? Problem is, is once you get this running, it can be a little bit of a mess, especially if you start getting bi bigger builds or if you only want to use one generator and you want to make a really big base, you might have to run cables all over the place and then multiple stories, you got to go up and down. Having all these wires showing can be a little nonsense. Now, if you're running mods, there's there's certain mods out there like S Plus and Superstructures where you can just hide the wires automatically, so it doesn't matter what kind of crazy mess you might have going on. Um, but what about if you don't? What if you're on console? So we're gonna go over a couple of different things about what I do to that might help you. Just general ideas, um, nothing too crazy. Just a few examples of what I got going on over here. But basically, it just it requires a bit of pre-planning when you're building. It's really what it comes down to. It requires a little bit of pre-planning. Um, so what this actually is, is foundations. This is four wooden foundations. And this is a turtle that can't mind its own business. Can you get out of here? You just go? I'm gonna ride on you. How do you like it? How do you like it? Hmm? All right, anyway. Uh, there's two foundations, the uh, four foundations. One, two, three, and four. Four foundations here. And what I've actually placed in the middle are fence foundations to clamp. So I'm going to actually demolish one of these so you can see what's going on. Actually, we can demolish all of them just so you can see what's going on here. I can just replace them real quick. Basically, in, instead of running instead of running the cables like in the middle of the fence foundation, sort of like what I have over here, kind of just out, out here, instead of just on top, you line them up so that the cables run in the seams between the foundations, like right there. And that's what I did over here. It's a little bit off, actually. It's not actually perfect. Um, we can actually pick this up. Maybe I can do a little bit better. Maybe. Let's see. Who knows? Probably not on the spot here. There we go. Basically, you plant it on the seams of where the floor joists, like where the floors click together. Um, and this will work on your ceilings upstairs or your, your foundations downstairs. But primarily, this is kind of like your first floor with foundations. It's going to be a little bit easier to do this with. But now you have it on this intersection so that you can use uh, fence foundations to go right over top of them and cover it up. Um, that looks like that's actually a little bit off because the fence foundation isn't centered. So you got to have to play around with that to get the fence foundation exactly where you want it to get it to work. Um, it actually looks like I had it. <laughs> looks like I might have had it better the first time. <laughs> oh, well, um, there we go. Put that there and put that there. But as you can see, I probably should have shifted that intersection just a little bit over, but you see the gist of what I'm talking about here. It hides the electrical cables that way. But that's definitely an option. Um, the other thing you could do is maybe, well, not maybe. The other thing you can do is if you're, if you're sectioning the rooms off different ways, you could use a wall to put over top of it too, to try to hide it too. That definitely works as well. Um, but this does require a bit of pre-planning and almost you, almost on, especially on the first floor, almost requires you to kind of get your whole electrical plan wired in ahead of time just to make sure. Um, a second option is what I have just to, as an example here. And this is, again, these are just kind of ideas to just pique your interest while you're building, maybe help you out with it. So this is just two foundations. And let's say I was running power upstairs, right? Um, and I wanted it to hide. Well, what you can do is place your vertical electrical. Are you back? 
Man, I feel like he's got a grudge. A little bit. What you can do is place the electrical cable right here in the middle of the foundation and then uh, and then kind of go up. And once you do that, you can actually snap pillars to the middle and it'll cover the electrical cable all the way up. So you can do this a couple different ways too. So let's say we were doing one that went on like the seam like we were talking about kind of. They were just put this turtle. You do realize you're just becoming a nuisance, right? Just nothing over here until I hit record. And then here you are. No respect. Anyway, so let's say we're using the seam between the foundation. So we have the uh, electrical cable right here, right here on the end, because we're going to like maybe tie another foundation to the side or whatever. But you can actually, when you go up on this corner, you know, this would be basically you going up another floor instead of in the middle. Maybe you wanted to do it on the end or on the corner somehow. You can still use the fence foundation method to try to cover this, uh, try to cover the cable up on this side. Actually, I'll need another foundation for this to actually work. Uh, point. So then you can have it covered up, but then because the fence foundation's here, it actually creates another snap point so that you can snap a pillar here to the side of it as well. So that way you can cover them up that way. So pillars, I would say pillars and fence foundations are probably one of the easiest ways um, off just off the cuff to try to hide some of these cables. But one of the best methods is just laying it all down ahead of time, honestly, because that way you won't care. And that's what's going on over here. So basically what I've done, I'm just demolished one so you can kind of see. I have uh, power in the, the, the intersection electrical pieces, the T-shaped ones, or the cross-shaped ones, or plus-shaped ones, or X-shaped ones, whatever you want to call it. I have those all tied together in a big grid format underneath these foundations. So if you can't quite see it, basically what I have going on is like just like a grid like that over and over again underneath these foundations. And then I lay the, all the foundations down on top. Now I can clip outlets to the bottom. I can do whatever I want. Like over here, I can have the outlet down here, attach my outlets, do everything. And it's all hidden. It's all sneaky, sneaky hidden. The problem with this is that you still want to use one of the one one um, cable up top because of how these generators work. The generator needs to be clipped to the power cables in order for that to work. Now, before early arc, this might have been a super pain in the butt to do. But what you can actually do um, is attach a wire to attach a wire to your generator. But now, what they've actually made are these flexible pieces that, if you're near the start and stop point, it'll like auto connect it for you. Um, we might have to rip this one up so I can show you what's going on now. It's like this flexible piece. It'll on its own. It'll just look like this. It's a little weird, but what it'll do, it, it'll detect two different snap points and kind of connect them by themselves for you. Waiting for this debris to go away so you can see what it's trying to connect to. Come on, go away. There we go. So it's trying to connect this T on the bottom to this to this one at the top. Now, if I do that, put my foundation back down here. I have this small wire. I mean, I could put a storage box over top of that to, to, to hide that, but now the electrical is hidden. You can have a light over here and the junction box. The only thing you're gonna see is the wires, but that's pretty much something to pay attention to. Another thing to note with the way the outlets work. So when the outlets pull those little wires, let's start over here. So you place the outlet and then when you place the light, there's a little wire that goes here. Let's say your wires are in your base getting a little crazy. What you wanna remember is, um, let's demolish. Well, we actually, we don't need to demolish this one. The thing to remember is that they're going to go to the closest available electrical thing. So you want to do this part first. And actually it looks like I might have to demolish this first two for this wire to go away. Um, it's going to try to go to that outlet. So even if I place it over here, it's going to try to connect a wire all the way over there. So definitely place your junction boxes down before you start making stuff that connects to it. Mainly because if I do this and then I put another outlet over here, it snaps another wire. But if I place that one, it tries to snap another wire to it. So now I have two wires connected to it and that's a little absurd. And it'll do that periodically and just get a bunch of bogus wires hanging around that don't actually need to be there. So get all of your electrical boxes in place first and then put your stuff down that requires electricity. It's gonna help you out in the long run to keep things clean. Um, these are just kind of general methods that I would go by. Um, obviously, again, if you're using mods, you can hide these on your own so that you don't have to deal with it. Uh, but, but specifically using things like fence foundations, using pillars in and out of the house, and then also simply placing the wires down on the ground before you actually uh, build your base is super helpful. Just just uh, little, little, little things about running electricity and how the electricity thing works pretty much. And this can be applied to whether you're using a generator or a wind turbine, pretty much works the same way. 
I, I like this method above anything else. If I don't have mods, this is something that I like to do. It's just easier because I can grid out. I can basically uh, scope out the whole underside of my base and go, well, you know what? I'm going to build a base. It's going to be, I don't know, three by three foundations big. And I can go put all these electrical things down, right? And then at like the intersections, I can pre put the outlets down. So I'm not worried about that part. And then I can drop my foundations over top of over top of these guys so you don't actually see it. Well, probably four at that point. I kind of kind of went quick through and just threw these foundations down. But now the foundations are covered. And if I put a light up, I'm only going to see that one wire of it going to that one electrical box underneath of it. Now this does mean it'll be kind of a pain if these things get damaged. Um, so definitely pay attention to that and realize that outlets have a pretty good reach so you can actually get a pretty good distance away with these things um i don't think they'll reach all the way out here nope uh, did it do on typical i want to say it's like four or five foundations away it'll actually grab it yeah grabbing it all the way over here so you got a pretty good range with it so if you're building a base and you're worried about the, uh, the, the electrical cables getting broken maybe do the grid like this on the inside of your base just the inside foundations and then that way they're protected and they have to get through a lot more to get to them and to even damage them anywho that's pretty much it just a couple of things that i learned and picked up along the way that you might like anyway guys that's general electricity and how electricity pretty much works and also how to hide some of the wires that you guys might uh might have some problems with i'm sure there's probably other ways to do this feel free to shoot something in the comments if you have another way of doing this but i figured i'd just shoot across the basics just to kind of help people out thanks for watching guys see you on the next one